Introduction to the program, screens and features. Getting around the program. The program is designed to be very easy to find your way around. Each section is accessed by the tabs at the top of your work area. Simply click on the tab for the function or section you require. Another row of tabs will appear so you can access the sections in that part of the program. On each page there are buttons that perform various processes. For example, buttons that relate to the page you are on or move you through a wizard are at the bottom of the page. Buttons that move you to a new process or function are located on the right side of the page. Other functions that relate to the program are accessible from the menu or by clicking on the icons. Home page. When you open a business file, it will open to the home page. You will be able to select the account to work on as well as add new accounts or delete existing accounts on the home page. You can also click the tab for the section of the program you wish to access. If you click on the cash flow tab without selecting an account, it will open the last account you were working on. The home page also has a learning center with information that will help you in using the programs and in running your business. The business dashboard has graphs that give some visual key indicators about your business. Icons. Beneath the menu at the top of the program, there are a number of buttons or pictures called icons. An icon is simply a button with a picture that suggests what the button will do. If you position your mouse pointer over these icons, a little help box will appear that also tells you what their function is. The Open Existing Business File icon opens another business file. Click on the backup icon to back up your data files and protect your work or send them to your accountant. Backing up is very important so you are asked whether you wish to back up every time you close a business file or close the program. The restore icon is used to restore your backed up data files into the program. The Customize Columns icon will take you to the window to customize the columns for the account you have selected. The Options icon accesses the options and preferences related to the section or program that is active. We have a dedicated video on the options that are available. Calculator. Click on this icon to start the system calculator. The Help icon opens the comprehensive online help. If you're using the Gold program and working in the Customer Invoice section, the Finalize Invoices icon will allow you to finalize invoices that are saved and not classified as Hold Open. Menus. In the top left hand corner of the screen, you will find the File, Tools and Help menus that provide you with functions to use from time to time. When you click on these menus, a drop down menu will appear. Position your mouse pointer over the option you require and click it to select it. File, Tools and Help are the three standard menu selections. The Help menu items remain the same throughout the program, however, the File and Tools menu items will change depending on the section of the program that is active. Consequently, you will find more information on the menu items in the user guide information for each specific section. Page, Screen Layouts and Buttons The sections of the program are designed for consistency in the way they look and their functionality. For example, each section is accessed by selecting the tab at the top of the screen. Then when you're in a particular section, there may be another row of tabs for the subsections that relate to that section. The programs also use a number of buttons to perform functions. 
Functions that perform an additional function are generally located on the right. When you click on these buttons, you will move to another page that performs another function. Buttons at the bottom of the page or screen generally perform functions that relate to that page. For example, the Save button will save the information you have recorded or edited on that page. The Cancel button will cancel any changes you have made since you last clicked on the Save button and close the page you are in. So to save your changes, then exit the page, click on the Save button and then on Cancel. If you just clicked on Cancel, your changes will be lost. When you're in a sequenced process, the Back button will take you back to a previous page, also without saving. The Help Assistant The Help Assistant displays on the top right corner of the screen and shows help information relating to the section of the program that you are in. Click on the selection arrow to find the assistant information you require. 